Kamal. This is uh, 2019 study finance and management pass paper. Question number 5, section 2. X Limited and Y Limited are two identical companies. Both of them have an average selling price of 20 rupees per unit. Per unit is 20 rupees. X and Y sales is 20 per unit. Its variable cost per unit and fixed cost are 14 and 40,000 respectively. Variable cost is 40%, so sorry, 14 per unit and fixed cost is 340,000. Both of them. Next, uh, they pay 35% tax on its income. Seventy thousand units of sales are those uh, are there for both other firm. They make seventy thousand units. Uh, Twenty multiplied by seventy thousand it is one hundred and forty thousand. It is one four hundred thousand. Variable was 14, 14 multiplied by 17,000, it is 980,000. X Limited Finance all its assets by equity fund. Y Limited Finance its assets 50% by equity and 50% by debt. The interest on which amount to 40,000. Is it limited? Uh, well established firms and it is considering to purchase of one of these two companies top management of is limited this is to buy a company which has lower degree of business risk within bracket operating risk first one they ask the financial consultant has mentioned that if is an ltd wish to purchase a company which has a lower degree of business risk they can purchase any of firms x limited and Y limited because business risk is same in X limited and Y limited. Do you agree with the consultant suggestion? And they ask why. Let's see. This is true or false. Uh, now we know sales income and variable cost and fixed cost. Now we can. How do we find the uh, operating leverage? Let um, sales minus variable cost divided by EBIT. Now we can first uh, get the sales minus variable cost amount. Sales is uh, 1,400 uh, 1, minus variable cost first on 980,000. It is 420,000 and uh, in Y limited company it is same 420,000. Now we can get the EBIT. EBIT. How do we find EBIT? Sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. In this case, one one thousand four hundred minus uh, three three hundred nine hundred eighty thousand minus three hundred forty thousand. It is eighty thousand. Same eighty thousand. Operating leverage is. How do we find sales minus variable cost amount divided by it is uh, ABIT, it is 5.25. Same 5.25. We can agree with the, uh, the, this statement because they have same operating leverage amount. Next, they ask because of the consultant suggestions, is it limited has decided to purchase the company which has lower degree of total risk? So in this scenario, uh, which company should purchase by is it limited? Why? So now we need to find the total risk. How do we get the total risk? First of all, we need to get the financial dividend. How do we find the financial dividend? Financial dividend find EBIT divided by EBIT minus interest. What is the EBIT of this company? It is X and Y. First on X limited EBIT is 80,000 and EBIT they have no interest because 
the uh, accelerated finance or its assets by equity funds because no any interest the buy limited it is EBIT and it is 8000 and uh, EBIT minus interest interest is uh, 40,000 they mentioned this is yes, um, 40,000 interest on which amount is 40,000 so now we can get the financing leverage so we can now get the operating total risk how do we get the total risk the financial leverage amount multiplied by the operating leverage uh, now we know the financial leverage it is for in x limited 1 and in y limited it is 2 so enter the uh, operating leverage in x limited 5.25 and in y limited uh, 5.25 the uh, 5.25 multiplied by the financial, financial leverage it is again only 5.25 and uh, in y limited it is 5.25 multiplied by 2 it is 10.5 uh, in this case x limited have less risk uh, 